the very first pages of the Electronic Encyclopedia of Life can be found at www.eol.org. Harvard University professor Edward O. Wilson helped initiate the Encyclopedia of Life project. He's widely considered one of the world's leading authorities on biodiversity. Biodiversity is a word that's swept around the world since it was introduced in uh, 1988, and it's just short for biological diversity. It means all the different species of plants and animals and microorganisms in the world, if you will, the biosphere or the creation. Wilson joined other renowned scientists uh, in is, Washington uh, for the uh, launching of the site the and at compiling knowledge about all life on Earth. Over the next 10 years, they plan to add more than 300 million pages to the site just for species currently identified. Edwards is the Encyclopedia of Life's first executive director. Once completed, the encyclopedia will provide scientists, students, and all citizens with multimedia access to all known living species, even those that have just been discovered. Once again, Harvard biologist Edward Wilson on the project and Earth's nearly two million named species. We estimate that the number of um, plants, uh, animals, and microorganisms, species that are out there could easily be five times that number, even ten times uh, that number, and we don't know uh, really how many is out there. But to say that, oh, well, because there's so many we don't know that's out there, uh, is no excuse for going on and destroying the known and the unknown. And the fact is that we are losing species, and this, this is a figure agreed upon generally by scientists, at somewhere between 100 times and 1,000 times faster than new species are being created. An electronic encyclopedia of life has long been a goal of researchers. They say advances in digital photography and internet technology make it possible now. The MacArthur and Sloan Foundations have donated $12.5 million to the project. It's free and accessible to everyone. As envisioned, the Encyclopedia of Life will be a scientific resource unrivaled in scope. Paul Sisko, DOA News.